Hi, today I will guide you how to convert raster images to vectors in batches. Specifically, convert PNG image files like this into SVG vector files like this um, automatically. This tool also supports you to convert JPG, PNG files to other formats such as AI, EPS, SVG, PDF, and JPG 4K easily. Let's get started. First, I have a list of illustrations that I have created with AI. Make sure it is an image file but with a flat design style without gradients so it will give the best vector results. Open Adobe Illustrator. Select File, go to Scripts and select the Batch Image 2 vector file. I have the download link for this file and installation instructions below the video description. The tool is very intuitive and easy to understand. First, I select the folder containing the list of images. Next, I select the format I want to convert to. Here I choose SVG and 4K JPG file. The preset trace part is very important. It determines the output quality of the image. There are many presets. You can also experiment to choose the preset that suits your image. With flat design images like this, I usually choose low fidelity photo. All done. Click OK and wait for the results. Now the tool starts running automatically. The time depends on how powerful your computer is and the number of images you process. Let's wait a bit. That's it. Let's check. We have a new folder named All Part Just Created. This folder contains all the images. Each old image will now have two new formats, JPG 4K and SVG. The JPG file has a large size of 5120 by 5120 pixels. I will check the SVG file with Adobe Illustrator. Let's take a look. Quality results, right? Generate image metadata with AI tool. Once you have a list of vector images, the next step is to generate image metadata. With a list of images like this, AI tool is a great support to save you time and effort. Here I use the web app that I created using Gemini API and it is completely free. Go to Mara Studio XYZ. You can explore some more free tools that I have built, including the download link of script batch convert image to vector that I mentioned in step. Now select AI metadata generator. If it is your first time, you need to enter your API key in this section for the system to work. If you do not know how to get this API key, please see the instructions by clicking here. I have a very detailed tutorial page on how to get the API for free that you can follow. Make sure you read carefully and follow the steps that I have mentioned exactly. Back to the metadata generator tool. Once the API is working fine, I will select all the images that I have. Note that uh, only JPG or PNG image files are selected. SVG or EPS files will not work in this case. I can customize the length of the title and the number of keywords that I want. Next, if you want to add metadata to the SVG files, click this button. The CSV file will automatically add a corresponding line for the SVG files with the same title and keywords as the reference image. After completing the customizations, click Generate Metadata. Then wait for everything to be done automatically. In the meantime, you can check the list of titles and keywords that are being generated in real time. Once done, there will be export options for you. I chose to download a CSV file for the Adobe Stock Platform and then free pick. Now we have two CSV files for the two platforms we just selected. Check them to see if they are correct. You can see that we have the full file name with two JPG and SVG files. We have the title, the keyword list, everything is ready to publish.
upload the images to Adobe Stock Contributor to sell them. Go to the Adobe Stock Contributor website and upload all the images, including all JPG and SVG files. Wait for the process to complete. Then I will upload the metadata file with the CSV format that I created in the previous step. Select Upload. If your CSV format is correct, you will get a green notification like this. Click Refresh to view changes. Now, all my images have added metadata. You can double check if they are correct. A little tip is that if you see all the images with status dots have turned green, it means your images have been added title and keywords correctly. An important note, double check each image. If your image is vector type, you do not need to do anything more. However, if your image is raster, JPG, you need to reselect the file type to match your image. Here, since all my images are illustrations, I need to change it to illustration instead of the default photo. This will help your images avoid being rejected during the review process due to the wrong file type. Do the same with all images. Once done, click submit and follow the instructions and you're done. Good luck and sell more vector images. If you find this video interesting and useful, please like and subscribe so I can make more videos like this. Thanks and see you again.